morning, everybody. It's 841 on this Friday, payrolls and unemployment rate day. And uh, this is your pre-opening comment, video number 1862. And we have a mountain of numbers, so let's get to it. Uh, Asia and Europe, uh, Asia slightly higher, Europe mixed to lower. Uh, the payroll numbers up. 187,000 versus up 209 last month. So a little bit weaker private payrolls, 172, also a little lower. Um, however, average hourly earnings up four tenths of a percent versus expectations of up three tenths and versus the last three months of Point four, so unchanged. Average hourly work week uh, was higher slightly, uh, 34.3 hours. Um, the labor participation rate continues to be unmoved. Um, in 2019, this was 63.6. Rick Santelli mentions this since it hasn't had a 63 handle since then. The number was 62.6. Um, and the U6, the underemployment, 6.7%. And that's just not giving it up. Uh, the unemployment rate ticked down a little. 3.5 versus 3.6. Um, as far as the market goes, it could care less. Um, we were down hard last night, came back this morning. Actually, we were up and then we were down. Uh, when I came down at a uh, little after seven, we were down 50 in the Dow, then down 41, uh, down five at 829 before the number, currently uh, up $8. Uh, the S&P was down 5 to unchanged to up 4, uh, currently up 6. And the uh, NASDAQ, which is heavily influenced today by Apple on the downside and Amazon on the upside, down 7.5 to down 15 to up 24 to currently up about uh, 26. Lots of, let me just do this chart on the screen, is the 10-year, it continues to fall in price, up in uh, rates. Um, the rate is uh, now uh, 4.2, um, and that is a huge gain for the week. And you can see it here, uh, the 31st, which was Monday. Um, well, let's go back to Friday. Friday, it closed at 111 and change, 111 and a half. Right now, 110 barely. So uh, not great. Um, right now, the Dow is up 26. Uh, S&P is uh, now up uh, 8. And the NASDAQ is up about 30. Okay, on the earnings front today, all over the place. You know about Apple missing on revenue third quarter in a row. Uh, Amazon big gain up 11 and a half or 8.8 percent on a beat guidance, etc. Bookings.com, Bookings Holdings, uh, BKNG, um, a big beat on uh, travel bookings which were up 15%. The stock is 3170. That's up 330 or 11.6. DraftKings also up about 11.8 on their beat and lower uh, promotional rates. We have Fortunate. This one is really a debacle, I think. Um, you know, what is more important than uh, security? Certainly, um, uh, online security, which is what Fortunate does. They beat by four cents on the earnings. They had inline revenues, which read that as a miss. Um, and uh, guidance 
was revenues below consensus, even though earnings per share up consensus. Uh, you know, they can screw around with the earnings, but they can't do a damn thing about revenues. If they're not there, they're not there. Uh, Airbnb down uh, a little. They beat by 18 cents. Inline revenues, etc. cetera. Uh, Block beats by three, beats on revenues, and uh, is still down 69.70, down 3.85. Coinbase, which beat and beat on revenues, is down a dollar and a quarter, 86 and a half. Amgen up 271 on their beat. They beat top and bottom line, guided above uh, consensus. Um, and it is currently. Uh, up 271 uh, and out at Lassian symbol T E A M beat by 13 cents beat on revenue guides higher 203.75 up 34.10 um, as far as the rest of uh, the um, futures markets we have a big move, a big bounce in the grains back to the upside. We're holding pretty steady up about a dime in the oil, heating oil down about a penny and a half. Gasoline, though, up three cents, down three cents in the nat gas. Uh, gold is up a little. Silver is still down 27. I think we're going to have a strong catch up there. We bought a small position in the AGQ yesterday. Might add to it later. Um, the big loser here is copper. And this is a huge disappointment uh, because what this means is that um, the uh, economy and certainly all of that infrastructure stuff is having no effect on it at all. Uh, we were as high this week um, on Tuesday. Well, on Monday, we were up eight cents, which is a huge move. That's two and a half percent. Tuesday, we made a slightly new high and then came pounding down, made a new low on the day. So an outside day, higher high, lower low, and it closed down almost 10 cents, followed by Wednesday down another six cents. Yesterday, a little bit of a bounce up six cents. And now today, higher high, Still a higher low, but trading at the low and at the low point for the week as far as actual pricing. It's down about six cents. Anyway, uh, let's just see what else we can give you here. Um, cotton down a little, coffee down two and a half, sugar down three point three six. Um s and P's now on the negative side, NASDAQ now on the negative side, Dow Jones now on the negative side, Russell on the negative side. The dollar is down a little, which is kind of unusual with the bonds uh, coming in, although uh, a look at those bonds shows they were as low as 2010, which was about unchanged. Right now they're 20, 120 and 15. Um, and as I said, the 10 year is lower, the five year is lower, so higher rates there, uh, and the two year is lower. So everything is, you know, it's actually kind of sloppy looking. All right, folks, have a good day and uh, be careful out there. Enjoy your weekend.